In this video, I'm going to walk you through from beginning to end how to make a video announcement for your church. Hey folks, AJ CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So I just want to walk you through this. Hopefully this is going to be a short video because I'm not going to be at church this Sunday or next Sunday. I'm actually have to play for one church, um, my sister's church to sub in for a musician um, and then the next week I'm actually going to be at the church that they hired me to um, pretty much help and direct their youth and young adult choirs. So I need to prep and get as much stuff done um, for my media ministry since I'm not going to be there. And we have a an announcement that happens every second uh Saturday of the month or something like that is for our grief support ministry and they have updated their information and they kind of got after me because I did not update this uh, last week so I am just going to take y'all along with me in how I actually do that and I'm trying to bring up the email so I can see everything here all right, so this is really, really simple. Um, this is a part of, if you, I don't know if you've checked out any of my other videos on how I made a request form on our website. This comes in through a request, uh, request form and they submit all of the information that we need to make their announcement. So really straightforward. So what I got is my um, mic here that I normally do for choir rehearsal. And I am just gonna set up you could do um, Audacity. I have Acid um, Music Studio. That was an old program that I had since Sony Vegas that I can record and do all this other fun stuff with. And you don't even need to really use this program. You can use your phone. Um, I can do this directly in DaVinci Resolve, which actually, I'm going to do that. So over here, here's my little script that I have to read. Really straightforward, and they had a little typo here. So... Let's go back over here to DaVinci Resolve. And for whatever reason, I need to at least have something here first so that you can do a track. And you can't see me, but I literally just put uh, a solid color right here. And now let's go over to Fairlight. I'm going to be in track number one. And we need to map it to what we're going to record. So I'm going to go to... Input, I mean no input for track for A1. Input, and I'm using my Behringer mixer that's behind the monitor that you can't see. That is what this mic is plugged into. So I need to map that to these channels. All right, now the other thing I'm gonna do is right click on this and I'm gonna change this to mono because I don't need to have it on left and right channels and all this other stuff. So let's click the R to say that that's what we're going to record and you can hear a feedback so I need to mute this and this is super super loud so I'm going to mute this right now so that you can it won't be any feedback so all we're going to do is just talk all right so here we go are you struggling with the effects of grief associated with the death of a loved one if so, the Antioch Grief Support Group invites you to join us the third Saturday of each month at 12 noon at the Antioch Annex. Together, we will maneuver with you through the pain of grief. Our mission is to listen, to present a secure atmosphere for you to talk freely about your pain, to cry, laugh, and receive a hug when needed. Please know we are here to support each other. All right. Now... I could use the audio that I did before in this previous um, announcement, but just add, because really they just changed the time of when they were meeting. So I could have just recorded myself doing that, but it's no harm in redoing the whole thing because this was an original announcement that we made for the church. And we've since changed our graphics and everything like that. And that's the one video that we have not updated. Let's go back here over to the edit tab and let's clean up a lot of this. So this pause right here, I can get rid of that 
as well as this last one here. Don't need that. Don't need that. All right, so mindset of this is now, now that I got the audio is fine. Now I just got to think of how I'm going to put this in here as well as our newer graphics that we're doing. So I normally just collect a lot of pictures from uh, pexels.com or Pixabay or something like that to fill out everything. So let's just listen through it again and see what we can find out for this. All right, so, and let me just show you the original. I can show you what we're making because technically I could almost just use the same one that we already did. Are you struggling with the effects of grief associated with the death of a loved one? If so, the Antioch Grief Support Group invites you to join us the second Tuesday of each month at 6 p.m. in the Antioch Annex. Our mission is to help free you from the pain of this debilitating emotion by presenting a secure atmosphere for you to talk freely about your pain, to cry, laugh, and receive a hug when needed. Together we will move through the pain of grief and reach once again the fullness of life our loved one wants for us. Now, me personally, I like that one a lot better, but this is what they asked for. So let's go back from the beginning again. So we just had a sad lady here and we're just going to look for the sad. And technically, I'm almost going to probably just use the exact same pictures because it works. Um, we're really only changing the voice and the graphics so struggling with the effects of grief associated with the death of a loved one all right so it was this first picture let's download that one then the second one if so the Antioch group and i'm just going to go through and just grab all the pictures on here and then we'll come back to show you how we put it all together all right we got everything here we're going to be making some graphics later in after effects so this is not going to include this part all I'm going to do is add the pictures on here and then do a little motion in between each one just to give it a little dynamic movement. Nothing really fancy, but we're going to base this off of what was said. All right. So we're going to start off the exact same way as the previous video did. And this is with our sad lady sitting here by herself. Uh, I can find it. That's the second one, so let me move that here. And, oh, there we go. All right, so let's start it off, and we're just going to play through it. And we need to in make this fill up the whole screen so we don't have any bars or anything. So I'm going to blow this up to maybe 1.4. And then I'm just going to do a zoom, um, a zoom out. Just small motion. Are you struggling with the effects of grief associated with the death of a loved one? Boom, there's a break right there. That's where I'm going to end this. And we're going to put a little keyframe here. Go back to the beginning. Do another keyframe. Let's go back and let's do this at 1.2. We don't need a lot of motion. Are you struggling with the effects of grief associated with the death of a loved one? And honestly, that's probably too fast. So I'll change this to 1.3. Just needs to be slight. With the of grief with the death of a loved one. All right, and then that's where we bring in our graphic here. We're gonna zoom this one in, and we're gonna pan this one here. So let's move it over here. See how far we can go. Let's start it right here. Keyframe. All right, so right here is where I'm going to change it. So this one is going to end. We're going to do another keyframe after we've moved it to right here. Not a lot of motion. So if we come in here and we're going to do a little blur effect in between, we're just going to right click and do a transition of 24 frames. And the only thing I don't like about that is you can't, it wasn't as smooth as I would like it to be because it didn't start moving until the transition was over. So I might play around with do some um, fusion motion there. 
and that's a probably a little bit more detailed than really need for here so I'll come in and add that extra stuff later but you get the gist of what I'm doing here so I'm gonna bring up the graphics right here so I'm gonna make a marker where that's gonna go So right here, I would want to have a picture of the annex. I need to look through to see if I have any any stuff with that. But if not, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I'll take this video here and add that in here. So right when, I, when I'm saying third, that's when I want to change it. So right there. Move this over. And it's not moving the way I want it to. So what I'm gonna do is just bleed this in here. We'll just fade this in for about 10 seconds. And I'm probably gonna do the same thing here on this picture. Let's bring this over a little bit for 10. Fade it out for 10. Alright, so right here, that's the next cut that we'll be making and transitioning to a different image. All right, so I want to have a picture of multiple people here. Yeah, so we'll put, a, put hands right there. We'll fade this out for 10 seconds. Not 10 seconds, but you know what I mean. cut right there and just like the other ones this picture isn't big enough to fill in the frame so we're gonna put it right here and we're actually gonna grow this image from right here and we're just gonna grow this one we're at 1.4 I'm just gonna do 1.54 at the end really not that much motion and I actually need to move this back some. So I'm going to get rid of that one and start this motion back here. So you can't see. It's not like it just starts once that image changes. And then we'll have people sitting down and talking. that one did I not copy that one over oh yeah here we go so this would be our people listening all right so right here I want to cut over to this funeral uh, you know kind of like the cemetery video here just so people know exactly what we're talking about this one has audio so I only want to grab this here all right so I I had to find something better for that all right receive a hug is this couple right here? Receive a hug when I laugh and receive a hug. Please know we are here to support each other. Alright, so based on how this ends compared to the other one, 
this actually is significantly shorter than the other one. So let me add this. So all right, so this would be my to cry picture right here. Let's try this a little bit more. And we're going to do some motion in here as well, too. Um, we've already did zoom, so let's pan a little bit. Bring this down. And I want to move that there. So I want it end right about here. And then I put it right here at about zero. So it's starting the motion even behind this image. So and I'll make a straight cut to that one. All right, now I need one more image of some people laughing. All right, here's a picture of a lady in a mirror laughing. Let's bring that one on. That will work. Find the time right when I say laugh. So I'm just going to do some straight cuts on these because of the, how quick the stuff is being said. So let's look at that again. Alright, so what we want to do is... So I was going to end with a sunset, I know, it sounds corny, but this is what I was going to end with. Alright, so one thing, that's too long of a pause for me, so I'm going to cut a lot of that out and move this over. So right here is where I will fade that in. Alright. I like how that ends. Really short, under under 30 seconds. Doesn't need to be long. It communicates the information for anybody is interested in the grief support ministry. So let's do a little motion on this one. Not that much because it's so short. All right, so. And that's actually too fast for that short period of time. So let's just do 1.3. All right, boom. Alright, so now all I got to do is come in and if we revisit again the original video that we had, if I can find where I had it. Alright, I'm going to find it under here, announcements, announcement segments, and here it is, grief. Let's look at this again. Are you struggling with the effects of grief? A so secure atmosphere for you to talk to the group invites you to join us the second Tuesday of each month at 6 p.m. in the Antioch Annex. Our mission is to help free you from the cry, laugh. So the good thing is all I had was that announcement at the top here. Oh, yeah. And it didn't even change the entire time through the entirety of the announcement. So that's going to be really easy. So...
let's set this aside and we're going to go into After Effects. All right, so I am in our broadcast package here, and this overlay I think is the one I'm going to use because it's semi transparent, and this is going to be the information that I leave up on the screen. So this is really straightforward. I'm just going to type over the same information as here. So this is going to be grief. Let's do it in caps. Grief support. And this is third Saturday. At and let's capitalize all of this. So third. Twelve noon. All right, really simple. So let me take the caps off here, and if we play it, and I'm going to do um, each month. Maybe just do every third Saturday at 12 noon. Any I can X. I think that would work. So this is going to be a compilation of PNG images. So let's go ahead and render that out. All right. So we're going to change this to PNG sequence. I'm going to place this in the appropriate location. And I will say this is, make a folder here, call this grief, grief version two, and just let that render. And now we're just gonna go back into DaVinci Resolve, add that um, sequence of images, and we are done. All right, so now let's navigate to where we had our files. Well, our slides of um, images that we just made. So there are announcements, announcement segments, and grief. And there's all our images. So now, I'm going to slide over here. Let's get some of this space out of here. We're going to find where we started it. So we made a marker where this is going to start. So now we just got to drag this over here. Now, see, this image ends sooner than we want. So, what I'm going to do is just ch uh, use the blade tool, cut just a little bit off at the end, splice this at the end, and we're going to go to right click, go to change clip speed, and we're going to freeze frame. So, now we can drag this image out for as long as we want it to do. And let's see what it looks like if we dragged it out for the entire thing, which I'm not going to do it for that long. Just want to leave it up so people know what's going on. So, let's play it again. Are you struggling with the effects of grief associated with the death of a loved one? If so, the anti grief support group invites you to join us the third set. So, I'm going to push this up a little bit, honestly, to start a little bit earlier. Associated with the death of a loved one? If so, the anti grief support group invites you to join us the third Saturday of each month at 12 noon. So at this point, I think this is too much for this to stay up the whole time. So I might flash this up again at the end. So right here, not that we're gonna drag this to right here, 
And what I'm going to do is take this image here, paste it right here, and then we're going to come in here, speed and reverse speed. So that will make it undo what we just did. That's it. Very, very simple. So what we're going to do is just balance out the audio just a little bit. And then we're done. So you, we already added our effects in here. So I'm just going to come in here in Dynamics. And let's just boost this just a little bit. So we can crank it up that high. We are right under red. All right, so we're good right there. So that's it. Now all I have to do is come out here, render this as grief version two, because this is the updated version of what we've been doing. And I'm actually going to render this to that same folder, our announcement segments. Actually, no, this is going to... Did I move this out? Yes, I did. So we come to resolve, add repeats. Oh, I did move it, sorry. I forgot we put this in a different place. So that's under add segments and save. And now I don't put music so that way when I add this to our full collection of um, announcements, I can add a background track that goes with everything. And just like that, it's already done. Are you struggling with the effects of grief associated with the death of a loved one? If so, the Antioch Grief Support Group invites you to join us the third Saturday of each month at 12 noon at the Antioch Annex. Together, we will maneuver with you through the pain of grief. Our mission is to listen, to present a secure atmosphere for you to talk freely about your pain, to cry, laugh, and receive a hug when needed. Please know we are here to support each other. Again, it was 30 seconds, 7 seconds. That was about it. So, hope y'all liked seeing what goes into making the announcement again. It doesn't really take that long. I was just... <laughs> flubbing back and forth trying to explain it so you knew what I was doing and anyway that's about it so if you like this type of content I appreciate a like consider subscribing and hit that bell that way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry this is AJ and we will see you on the next video later